to be able to get right behind Sauter, but not so hard that Sauter can't get over. Coming to the green and two laps to go. Johnny Sauter on the outside, Kaz Grala inside. Sauter drops down in front of Grala, and here comes Matt Crafton on the outside with help from Ben Rhodes. They got a good push on the outside. Crafton's even with Grala. This is when Grala's really got to watch out. Side drafting from Crafton is something that he's never felt before. Nice job by Sauter. He goes up high to block. He gets in the high groove in front of Crafton. Great move. He had to give up on his teammate right there. Look at Timothy Peters on the inside. Matt Crafton challenging for the lead on the outside. Crafton, the two-time series champion, has never won here at Daytona. He has a teammate behind him. That's Ben Rhodes. Two teammates behind him. He's only Make it three teammates behind him. 16 tries, only one top five finish for our champion, Matt Crafton. Can he hang on? He's got a big lead. Don't get out too far. The final lap, Crafton in the 88 in front. Johnny, Johnny Sauter, Sauter inside, oh, it's go. three wide. Making that hole. Forced his way to the middle. Middle of three. You're middle of three. Come on, 13. You got a guy coming to you. Not over. Keep digging. They're crashing. Rhodes in the crash. Keep digging. Damn. Crafting up and over. And Cass Grala looks to me like will win this race. Huge crash at the end on the final lap. And Kaz Grala, the youngest driver in the field, the youngest driver to win a pole award in NASCAR's Touring Series history. We'll have to wait and see NASCAR, but he sure looked like he was the one that emerged with a lead. The first across the finish line under the checkers and the yellow flag. Austin Wayne's self trailed Grala across the start-finish line. That team's confident about what they've accomplished.